Alrighty, let's do this. Let's get started in the child's pose. My name is Bianca. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Thanks for investing in your wellness. Let's go ahead and rest your forehead down in space in your child's pose. Relax the body. Settle those hips towards the heels. Begin the steady flow of your breath. Calm the nervous system, slow down your thoughts. Start to get present with your physical form here. Relax your chest onto your thighs and then relax your arms onto the mat, your palms, the tops of your feet. This whole time feeling a sense of accomplishment that you've made it through one week. Continue to deepen the breath. And then acknowledging the ways you honored yourself by keeping to your word. When you say you're going to do something, you did it. Or giving yourself grace if you said you were going to do something and you didn't do it. And maybe that is Amigo Yoga today and here you are. Start to deepen that breath a little bit deeper. Feeling the core start to engage. Creating warmth through the body. Seal your lips. Steady the breath. And then for these next few moments, feel free to Massage out your forehead right and left. And then slowly on the inhale, walk your hands all the way to the right. Keep your left hip planted down. Left hand on top of your right hand. And then bring both hands to the left. Bring your right hand on top of your left. And bring the arms forward now. Rise up to your tabletop, find all fours. Feeding your cat and cows, inhale for cow pose, lift the tail, lift the gaze. Exhale, round your back for cat. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, round. Start to move fluidly, moving your hips bending through your spine. Just feeling freedom there, especially when you send your breath. Finding those deep belly breaths. Perhaps dipping into one shoulder and the other, looking over the right shoulder and the left. Then feeling any and noticing any cracks, sounds, tension, Soreness. All right, neutralize the body. Walk the hands forward for puppy pose. Keep the hips above your knees here. Letting the back bend occur in your puppy pose. And then slowly bring it back up to tabletop. And then with your resume your cat and cows, perhaps start to add in hip circles if you haven't yet. It's just starting to further warm up the body, further warm up the wrists. And then return to center, please. Tuck your left toes back and then lift the left leg at hip height. From here, notice your core start to shift in weight, balance, and then inhale, lift the right arm forward. And think of lifting your thumb as high as your heel and then both as high as your hips. Elongate, lengthen, feeling that glute engage, feeling the core. 
core gets strong. Hold here for another few breaths. Spread the left fingers, the left palm, and then release it down. Nice. Tuck the right toes, lift the right leg, inhale. Send the left arm forward, finding your balance this time, noticing that distribution of weight. Hug your low abs in. Stay centered, try to remove the arch in the back. Steady breaths. Nice, good work. And release. Inhale the right arm high. Exhale, thread the needle. Take it down and across the body. Reach the left fingertips forward. And feel free to reach the left toes back. And just continue to stretch out through the side body, feeling now this twist here through your thoracic spine. And then exhale, left knee comes down, left hand comes down, inhale, right arm. And then exhale, release. Other side, inhale, left arm high. Exhale, thread. Gently rest your temple onto the mat, tuck the right toes, reach the right arm forward. Get comfortable trying to stretch out your right side body, finding the twist through the left. So the right hand comes down, right knee, inhale the left arm. Exhale, nice, tabletop. All right, from here, tuck the toes, lift your knees off the floor just a few inches. Balance your tabletop, feel your strength. And we'll move up into your down dog with this hitch. Nice. Inhale, lift the heels up. Exhale, hover the knees. Again, exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, hover the knees. And then down dog. All right, from here, just pedal it out to your down dog. Bend one knee, bend the other knee. Just feel the Stretch there through the back body. Continue to pedal out your down dog. Spread your palms wide. Rest your knuckles onto the ground. And then just make sure you're still breathing. Stay in your down dog, maybe hold some stillness now. Press your chest to your thighs, parallel your heels, parallel your toes, and then inhale, shift forward to plank pose. Feel the strength of the body here, the arms, your core, your back. Lift the back of the head. And then from here, lower your knees. All right, so we'll flow through that knee down dog and plank flow. So from here, tuck the toes, lift your knees off the ground, inhale. Exhale, down dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale, hover the knees. Inhale, down dog. Exhale, plank. Inhale, hover. Exhale, down dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale, hover. Inhale, down dog. Exhale, plank. Good, keep going. Hover the knees. Inhale, dog. Exhale, plank. Good, hover. Down dog. Inhale, the plank. This time, lower all the way down to your chest. And then take the hands next to your rib cage. Lift it up for cobra pose. Keep your feet on the ground. Hug your elbows back. Stretch. Good. Keep the chin tucked in. And exhale, lower down. Two more. Inhale, lift the heart space off the ground. Keep the gaze down here. Use the core strength in the back. Exhale, lower. Nice one more. Inhale, hands on the ground. Just lift with your heart space, your core. And exhale, release. Good work. Lift up, plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk all the way to the middle. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward fold, and stay here. Bend those knees a lot. Let your head and neck just hang heavy here. 
moving side to side. And just loosening up through your hamstrings, your calves. And then steady the breath, still breathing in and out through the nose. And to your shins, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up, arms overhead. And interlace your hands behind your head. Find the chest expansion, the back bend, lifting the heart space, shining with the underarms and the elbows up. And exhale, swan dive down, forward fold. Let yourself hang heavy, hold still here. Once you're in your forward fold, feel free to shift forward and back into your toes. Just feeling the lift of those hips so that you can further stretch the hamstrings. Remember not to hyper stretch or hyper extend the knees. You're just feeling the balance transfer from heels to toes. Stretch from here, lower those heels, inhale, rise up. Take the hands behind your head once more. Find the back bend. Think of elongating your neck. Lift those elbows, lift the heart space, the thoracic spine bends here. And then exhale, bring it back down, forward fold. This time, start to sway side to side if you haven't yet. Let your head and neck hang heavy, letting everything go from the knees. Bring it in, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. All right, this time rise up. We'll stay standing for a moment. Use your right hand, hold on to your left wrist and take a side bend up and over. Towards the right, gaze left. Spread your toes, anchor your heels down. Inhale up to center. Right, left hand will hold on to the right forearm or wrist. Take a side bend. Just elongating through the body again, feeling good. Here in the spine, inhale, center, and then you'll use your right hand again for the left forearm, stretch to the right. Nice, inhale, center, we'll go the other way to the left. Inhale, center, and then exhale, squat and curl, tuck down, forehead into your knees, or rather chin into your chest. Lift those heels high, round your spine. Okay, we'll go for a balance challenge here, lift your Palms face forward, arms up, arms in front of you. Steady the breath. And then from here, heels down, rise up, chair pose. Hopefully that worked for your hip flexors. Just keep sitting back. A little deeper. A little bit more. And then exhale, hands to the ground, forward fold, widen those legs. Now you can start to straighten the legs even more. You can possibly plant your palms to be face flat onto the ground. Left hand to center, bend the left knee, inhale the right arm high. Just find that twist of the spine. Gaze up towards your right thumb if you can. And exhale, release. Bend the right knee, switch. Lift the left arm high. Just open up through the spine. Good, keep gazing upward if you can. And exhale down, other side. Bend the left knee this time. Take a bind, right hand to sacrum. Pull the right sh shoulder away. Or you can take a half bind here with your right fingertips to the left hip crease. Try to open up through that shoulder. Nice work, and exhale down, other side. Right hand down, inhale the left arm. This time, hand to sacrum or your right hip crease. Slow and steady. Just try to relax and try to breathe into your back. And exhale, good, let it go. Unra unravel, rise up to standing, reach the arms high. Bring the toes together, interlace your hands, leave your pointer finger up and out, and then take a side bend to the right. Inhale, center, and then exhale to the left. Inhale, center, exhale to your back bend, keep your arms where they are, just gaze up. Any amount of 
extension there through the spine. And exhale, release it here, pull those arms back. And think of pointing your knees forward. Relax shoulders away. Think of elongating the neck forward. So you're just trying to awaken all parts of the spine there. And once you're ready, stand up, breathe in. Listen carefully, feet together, open toes to the right, find chair pose. Gaze past your right shoulder, maybe towards your right thumb. Stay strong in the body. Good, inhale, stand up. And then exhale, open twist to the left. While you sit back in the chair, align those knees. Try not to let the right knee come forward. And you want your long spine, tall torso. Sit back evenly through those hips and then gaze to the left. All right, good. Inhale, center. Widen the feet. Exhale, hands behind you. Take a chest expansion here, breathe in. Exhale, bend the knees. Bound forward, fold here, letting your shoulders open up, hands go over the back, and trying to feel how the shoulders are opening here while you sit back onto the heels. So there's almost like a, a bend occurring in the knees, heels pull back, crown of the head pulls forward. Excellent. All right, release the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chair pose, I mean rather frog pose, sit down, hands to your heart space. Just continuing to loosen up the body, then we'll flow here, you'll stand straight up, point the toes forward, heels back. Inhale, sit down to your frog, and then exhale, stretch forward. Every time you do this, your heels come in for frog, and then come parallel. For your forward fold. So we're just promoting flexibility, openness through the hips. Keep moving, inhales to sit down, exhales to straighten the legs. Good, last one, inhale, sit, and then exhale, straighten. All right, good. Walk the hands forward, step back to your down dog, inhale, shift to plank, exhale to your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, sit down dog. Five breaths. Notice the warmth. Notice how your spine is feeling after that really thorough spine warm up. Maybe plant your palms to face down. Lightness in your toes. Activation in your foot, inner inner arches lift, chest go towards your thighs, triceps pull in towards one another, neck allows to be extended, feeling the head hang heavy here, slowly lift the right leg high, inhale, exhale step through, left knee comes down, inhale reach both arms high, long spine, arms overhead, and then start to settle and bend into your right thigh, right knee, finding that left side hip flexor stretch, chest expansion, a little bit of both, and then from here, hands to heart space, left elbow to your right thigh, find your twist, thumbs to your heart space. Prevent your right knee from curving in, or rather sinking in. Press the knee against the left or left elbow, correct? And then breathe. One breath there. Good, inhale, circle back up, reach high. Exhale, open arm back bend here in your knee. Inhale, straighten up, and then exhale to your half splits. Slide your right heel forward, flex those toes again. Such a good pose to do on a Friday. Just alleviating your low back from any pressure from sitting down, stretching your hamstrings from any workouts you did this week, or just sitting down. And then from here, actively pull those toes up towards the sky, bend the elbows bow forward. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bow. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bow forward. And then pull up. Nice. 
Walk your right foot to the right side. Get low here in these runner's lunge. Maybe put both hands towards and underneath your shoulders so you can access your hip slash groin stretch here, inner thighs, letting your hips be heavy. Make sure your right knee is somewhat above your right heel. All right, switching the gaze, inhale the right arm high. From here, transfer your weight onto your left thigh as you take a hold of your left foot for your quad stretch. Find a gaze to the right. We did a few binds, so this is a big shoulder opener twist slash that quad stretch. To feel it more in the quad, you'll bring that heel towards the glute. Exhale, slowly release, hands. Tuck the left toes, send the right leg high. Three-legged dog, listen carefully. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg. Exhale, knee to nose, shift. Inhale, right leg. Last one, exhale, knee to nose. And then bring the right knee to the right side, and to the left, right, left, good, right, left, last one, right, and that's it. Right leg up, open up through the hips here, just let your knees float in open, and exhale, bring it down. Good work, inhale the left leg up. Exhale, step forward, lower the right knee, shin, Reach up, circle up, arms overhead. And then feeling it on this side, just letting your hips be heavy, your right shin be grounded. Your legs are about hips width distance. Feeling that lean forward and then that pull up. So think of pulling the ribs up away from the hips. Once you're there, think of leaning up with the sternum yeah, finding any amount of back bending you can access in the spine. Keep breathing. Try not to turn the hips to the right, so keep centered. Observe where your zipper is pointing and try to point it forward. If the arms are tired, you can always rest them onto your hips here. One more breath. Nice hands to heart space. We'll take a twist to right elbow to your left thigh. Allow your knee to be over the heel again. Use your elbow against your thigh to press deeper into the twist. Relax your left shoulder from your ear. And then just feel the burn that's occurring in your body from breathing and moving with intention. Keep gazing back. Center your left knee to point forward to point it forward. Steady hold, spread the left toes, and then inhale, bring it up. Nice work. Exhale to your half split, slide well the right knee back. Stretch the left toes forward. And then just feeling your alignment here. Your right hip is above your right knee. Your left heel is directly in front of your left hip socket attachment where your thigh will attach to your hip and then from there find the longest tallest spine you can possibly find tucking your chin inward will increase the stretch for you just feel where you want to land in this pose try not to have a rounded back so you can maximize the hamstring stretch if you have blocks it's also nice to use here and from here inhale breath on the exhale, bend your elbows, just bow forward in your mouth. Inhale, pull, poi, and then exhale, bow. Inhale, exhale, bow forward. And then from here, straighten the arms, plant the left toes, allow yourself to scoot forward with your hands for your runner's lunge here. It's another really nice pose to do towards the end of the week opening, finding that hip opening, external rotation there, and then you stretch through your right side thigh, your left side connective tissues, 
and then just breathe here. Okay. Let your hips be heavy, let the back of the head be light and lifted. And from here, walk the right hand a bit forward, inhale the left arm open, find your twist, and then exhale, capture your right foot. Stay strong into this right hand, think of side plank. And then you can start to pull the right heel towards the right glute if you wish. Orient the gaze up to the diagonal ceiling behind you. And then very slowly release. Bring it in. Rise up. Orient your hips to be neutral once more. And then exhale, find your open chest back bend. Stay strong, stay open, keep breathing. Inhale, pull away, and then exhale, plant the hands. Tuck the right toes, send the left leg up. Exhale, knee to your nose, find your plank in the upper body. Send the leg up, exhale forward. Inhale up, exhale forward. Good, and then stay here, we'll go left to the right. Left, right, keep going left, right, left, right, last one, left, right, inhale, left leg up, and exhale, open up the knee. Good, slowly rest your feet, bring it down to the ground, sit down onto your heels, lift the arms overhead. Interlace your hands at your elbows above you. Good. And then we'll take a side bend up and over to the left. Good. Inhale center to the right. Inhale up, right back to the left. And inhale center all the way to the right. Good work. Unwind. We'll take a seated twist, right hand to the left thigh, left fingers to the right hip. See if you can upright your chest here. All right, good. Unwind, open up the arms to a T, and then switch. Left hand to your right thigh, right fingers to your left hip. Just making sure you're nice and open. And slowly up with the arms. Exhale, interlace your hands. Rest the elbows on the ground, find your dolphin pose. Lift your hips high. All right, try to relax your fingers now. Put your fingers in a prayer position with your thumbs interlaced. Scoot your hips back to plank pose and find dolph or rather find forearm pose. All right, walk the feet a bit closer and then exhale dolphin pose, lift those hips. Inhale forward to your dolph to your forearm plank. Exhale pike, heels lift. Exhale forward. Keep moving, inhale hips. Heels high, exhale, plank. Nice work, keep going. Exhale, keep going, one more. Hold your forearm plank, stay here. And then let the thighs rest. Plant the palms, lift your chest for a big cobra pose. Palms are in front of you. Exhale, lower down, palms wider. Inhale, big cobra. Exhale, lower. Three more. Inhale. Exhale, forward. Move the hands forward more. Inhale, peel the chest. Exhale, down. Good. Last one. And release. Good work. Tuck the toes. Lift it up. Plank. Exhale, down, dog. Take five breaths here. Notice how much more warmed up your spine is, maybe your hamstrings, maybe your heels can touch the ground. And then just feel all the kind of openness and space you've been able to create in your, in your physical body. Take two more breaths. Alrighty, good work. From here, find plank. Exhale, lower down to your forearms. Okay, forearm plank, but with your hands uninterlaced. 
Listen carefully. Slide your right hand to be perpendicular or parallel to the top of your mat. And then find forearm side plank. Right elbow comes down, of course. Palm is on the mat. Find your forearm. Side plank. Three, four, three, two, one. Return to plank. Okay, then switch. Switch onto the left elbow. Forearm, excuse me. Lift the right arm. You can always lower the knee, of course. Stay strong there, strengthening the arms in the back and the core. Exhale back, forearm plank. Good work, stay strong. And exhale, chest down. Inhale, lift your heart space. Good, exhale, down. Okay, then inhale the right leg. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, crescent lunge. Find your crescent lunge and stay here. Keep the ribs tucked in. Expand your heart. Lift the arms higher. Feel a stretch along the front line of the body. Settle in, keep bending those knees. All right, good. Inhale, full breath. You'll use your right hand to the left wrist again. Take a side bend to the right. Inhale, center. Other side, left hand, right wrist, side bend. Good, inhale, center. Exhale, hands to heart will twist now. Take your time. If you wish to lower the knee, that's great. Otherwise, you can stay here and take a bind. Your right hand can go to the left hip. That's half. You can take a full bind here, connect with your fingers. As long as you can breathe, that's what matters. Good, return to the twist. Inhale, rise up, stand straight up, legs straight up, arms overhead, and exhale, take it to pyramid pose. Beautiful work. Let the left heel come down. Move the body, bow forward in space in pyramid. For this one, please cup your chin. Just let your forehead try to descend towards your right shin, even if it won't reach. Encourage your right quad to engage so you can stretch out the left or the right hamstring. All right, if you have blocks, you can bring them to the top of your mat. Otherwise, no blocks. You'll slowly, you'll slowly bend your right knee. Lift your left leg. Think of this as the beginning when we're on our knee. Then from here, bring your left, bend your right knee, bring your left hand to your hip, and then reach your right arm forward. Balance. Strong. Good work. Left toes down. Inhale, crescent lunge. And exhale, warrior two. Let it go. Just let your chest be parallel to the left wall now. Spread your toes. Keep those arms nice and activated. Settle into your lunge. Obliques are working. Core is strong. Inhale, reverse warrior. Feel free to take your bind, your bind. Then exhale, extended side angle. Any variation here that will do works for you. Make sure you lean back, your hips are low, your left side body is strengthened and long, as well as your right side body. Inhale, reverse triangle, lift. Exhale, do your triangle pose. You can touch the floor, you can hold on to your shin. Just find the integrity of the shape while you breathe deeply. Nice, inhale, reverse triangle, lift. And then exhale, bend the right knee. Transfer your weight forward, find your half moon pose as you lift and try to balance. Right toes point forward, right knee points forward. Left hip is open, like in side plank. <laughs> and if you have furniture nearby, just make sure to avoid it. Slowly release if you haven't yet. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, plant the palms. Listen carefully. 
balance onto the left hand, think of side plank with tree pose variation, lift your right arm high, press your inner thigh up towards the sky, and then exhale, find your chaturanga if you wish. Inhale, up dog, and exhale, down dog. Beautiful work, take five breaths, spread the palms, settle your, your knuckles, Try to extend those arms, don't forget. Breathe. Inhale the left leg up. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, crescent lunge. Once again, stay here. Feel the frontal hip stretch. Feel the, the weight of your left heel onto the ground. Keep going, just breathe. And then arms overhead, if they're not already. You'll take your left hand to your right forearm, side bend up and over. Inhale, center, hold right hand to left forearm, side bend. Then inhale, center, and exhale, hands to your heart space, twist, right elbow, left thigh. So good for your spine here. Keep breathing. All right, now you can take a half bind. If you wish to do a full bind, you can. Your tricep will go down towards wherever you can reach. Sometimes, especially if you're right-handed, that'll be a bit tighter. All right, release. Inhale, rise up. Straighten the arms, straighten the legs. And then exhale to a pyramid pose, let it go. Bow forward. Tuck your chin here, letting your, your, your neck be compressed, or rather the throat area. This helps your stimulate circulation, movement of lymph. Take another few breaths, just refining your hip position, refining the hamstring stretch. And then inhale, bend the left knee, shift forward. Lift your right leg to your hip height, just like when you were on your knee. Okay, bend your left knee, right hand to hip, and then left arm overhead in front of you. And if you fall out, don't worry about it. Just come back. You are so strong. Inhale right back up, crescent lunge. Full inhale. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Leave enough space so you can really get into your left thigh. Parallel your arms against the floor and then feel your left knee reaching forward while you continue that, that tone in the inner thighs. Gaze left. Spread the toes, relax your face, relax your jaw. Inhale, reverse warrior. Lift it up, take a bind. Exhale, extended side angle. Stay strong, your obliques are working for you, your core, your back muscles. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten. Left arm up. Exhale, triangle pose. So what you're doing in these poses is you're continuing to send breath through your lungs, strengthening your back, strengthening your core, improving your flexibility. Inhale, reverse, lift up, bend the left knee, transfer, exhale, half moon pose. Slowly tip, if you need the floor, it's there. And you want your right heel to be an extension of your right hip. You'll play with where you are in space, any areas of imbalance or tightness. Or it's okay to use a floor, a block. 
you want to challenge yourself, you'll balance without it. And then very slowly bring it down. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the ground. Transfer the weight to the right hand. Side plank, tree variation. Resist gravity here. And exhale, plank. Inhale, shift. Chaturanga. Up dog. And exhale. Downward dog. So strong. Keep breathing your down dog. Feel it out. Good. Good, good, good. Two more breaths. Inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Hop. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Arms overhead, look up. Exhale, hands to heart. A, inhale. Lift the right foot up for tree. Just try to find your balance. You can put your leg wherever it feels natural to. Arms overhead, please. And then from here, you either hold on to your right knee with your right hand, left hand to hip, or hold on to the right big toe, extend leg. Left arm can go up. Keep centered, breathe. Open up the right leg to the right, right knee or right heel. Bring it back to center. <laughs> and then exhale back to tree. Exhale, hands to heart space and let it go. Good, we'll switch. Inhale, left foot up. Find your tree. Just give yourself grace for however your balance looks today. Arms overhead if you wish. You can find variation that works for you. And then from here, you can hold on to your left knee with your left hand. Right hand to hip, extend to the big toe if you wish. So one of my favorite poses because it really requires concentration, coordination, balance, strength, flexibility. And then open up left leg, left knee, left heel to the left. Focus on your gaze, just look at one single spot. Inhale, center, return to tree. And then exhale, release. Nice, shake it out, let it go. Switch, from here, inhale, reach the arms high. And take your right hand to your right foot, draw the knees together. Exhale, third dancer's foot, dancer's foot back. Option to reach forward for bow. Option, bend the left knee to reach down for sugar cane pose. Wherever you are, make sure you're protecting that left knee joint. Bend the left knee. If you're down, rise up, back to dancers. <laughs> and soften, release, hands to heart. Other side, lift the left knee, hold on to the left foot. Kick back, dancers, and reach forward for bow, or make sure you're bending the right knee for a sugar cane pose. Did you want that right knee bent? All right, inhale, rise. Back to dancers. If you're already there, just hold on tight, and exhale, release. So good. And exhale, release. Last thing here. Lift the right knee, arms up. Exhale, figure four. Hands to your heart space, maybe tuck the chin. Maybe forearms to your, sh your shins. Perhaps arm balance. Take your pick. slowly come back inhale rise exhale release other side inhale lift the knees 
the left one. <laughs> Exhale, figure four. Find your balance. It's all good. Explore your variation. Try to elongate through the spine again. Sacrum in line with the back of the head. So, so nice. Keep breathing. Alrighty. If you took the arm balance, hopefully you already did it. Otherwise, take your time. And everyone inhale, rise, left knee. And exhale, release. So good. Alright, widen the feet. Inhale, lift the arms. Bend the knees, fold forward, let it go. Take a few moments here, bend the knees, hold on to the elbows, sway side to side, let your spine decompress after all those back bends, downs and closes, and then exhale, sit down to five. Good. All right, from here you have about 10 breaths. You can get into a headstand, forearm stand, handstand, or boat pose. Sorry, my brain's like, all right, boat pose. So take your inversion, your arm balance, or hang out here. Maybe straighten your legs. Feel out where your core is today. It's not always the same. If you're inverted, stay. Try to hold your breath for 10 breaths. If you're in boat, come with me, lower half. Exhale, pull in. Inhale, lower. Exhale, in. Eight. Good, seven. Six. Three, two, one, interlace the hands, or rather fingers to your toes, extend to your assisted straight leg boat pose with fingers, breathe, if you fall back that's okay, or you can bend your knees like this, pull, look up, and then exhale. Hands onto your knees or the back of your legs or the floor rather and then exhale fold. Take a few moments there if there's continuing work on our inner thighs and then inhale lift. Letter V for the heels. Reach up. Exhale. Bow forward holding onto your ankles, your heels, your toes blocks. Nice. Inhale, lift. Cross the legs. We'll take a one camel pose here. Find it now. Hands to your low back. Lift. Make sure your knees are aligned. Nice work, slowly sit down. One hand to heart, one hand to belly. Alrighty, slide the legs through. Lay down. Nice work today. Now we're gonna relax. Figure four, please. Right ankle, left thigh. So you've been here before, just not that long ago. Interlace your hands around your left thigh, your left shin. And slowly release the knee. Let your whole leg unit fall towards the left. Squeeze right as you find this. Inhale, center. Bend left ankle, right thigh. Interlace. Release your hand. Let the legs fall to the right, please, left. Arms out towards you. Good. Inhale, center, please. Legs up. Any poses that suit you here, you can take a plow pose. Hang out here, decompress in legs of the wall. And if you went to plow, you'll slowly come down. We'll all meet here. 
Alright, knees bend, left heel down. Hold on to the right toes, please, or right ankle. Make sure the back of your head and your sacrum was on the floor. Inhale, open up right leg to the right. Try not to lift the left hip. Exhale, twist. And then inhale, center, legs up again. Right heel comes down, left hand to your left toes or ankle, calf. Open up, left leg left. Maybe anchor down your right hip. Exhale, twist, supine twist. All right, nice, inhale, center. We'll take a happy baby final pose here. Breathe, let it go. And then exhale, draw the knees in. Give yourself a big hug. Exhale, the shavasana. Tuck the shoulders underneath, open up the chest, relax your legs. Cleansing breath out. Breathe in. Exhale out. You can also do one hand to heart, one hand to belly. Tuck your chin, open up the back of the neck. Let your body fall very heavy onto the mat. Relax your face. Fingers, toes, wrists, ankles. And take a big stretch overhead. Big, big, big inhale. Exhale, open mouth. Draw the knees in. Let's please roll onto the right side. And then all the way up. And find cross legged knees. Sit up tall. Take another few breaths here, just feeling the alignment of your spine. Inhale the arms overhead. Exhale, bow forward slowly with left foot. And then hopefully, find a seat. Good work. Thank you for being here. Thank you for taking time to take care of your physical and mental health. Just remember, always just work on your practice whenever, um, so you could continue to feel this relaxed and this good whenever you need. So thank you all. Take care and have a wonderful weekend. Be safe out there and I'll see you guys next week. Thank you, Bianca.